How's it going guys, Daniel here, and today I'm gonna to talk about if I can edit on Acer's Nitro 5 gaming laptop. Now this laptop is more on the mid-tier level, so it's running on Intel's Core i5 with 8 gigs of RAM. Now for graphics card, it's running on a 1050 Ti. Editing on the laptop, my experience was with the Oppo video, um, I have that card up there so you guys can check it out, but it was a short cinematic video. It was like a little bit over one minute or so, and it was re really simple. It's a montage with music over it, I did have um, some color correction, but what really made a toll on the laptop was the warp stabilization. The stabilization only added much longer render time, and of course it kicks the fans up even higher, but overall editing on this laptop for that video was pretty smooth. So I've also edited the full review on this laptop as well. The video is over at Boyderworks channel, so you guys can head on over there to check that out. Honestly, I thought the workflow was going to be much worse just because there's a lot more going on. There's A-roll, B-roll, templates, effects, and all that. So the editing was pretty smooth. It went smooth, just as smooth as editing the cinematic video, which is much more simple. With the playback, there are times when the video plays much faster than the timeline, but that also happens on my main desktop as well, which is much more powerful. So I'm not going to put the blame on the laptop. I think it's more on Adobe side of things, so that I'm not going to consider as a con. Now there is some text animation going on that happens in the main review, and playing through that was pretty laggy, and whatever that happens after was pretty laggy, so you have to stop and hit play again, but just make sure that it's beyond that text animation. So for portability, I would say this laptop isn't the best. It's pretty thick and it's pretty heavy for a traveling laptop just to edit on. Now this is a gaming laptop, so it does have that gaming look, so if you're not into that, I wouldn't suggest this laptop at all. Since this laptop is pretty thick, it's not going to fit in all the bags, especially the slimmer size bags. So what kind of videos this laptop can edit? I would say it's more on the basic side, like, uh, like cinematic videos that I've edited on, basic vlogs, or even tech videos that I have done overall. Now it's, gonna, uh, it's not going to be the smoothest. Um, doing tech videos, but you can do it. It is bearable But once you add more stuff a lot more layers a lot more text animation and effects or stabilization Then it's gonna be a lot more sluggish while you're editing on this laptop So this laptop goes for $850 and is it worth it? Um, I would say it's more for the beginner side and the intermediate side where you're starting off doing basic videos and then you're slowly going into more things like adding b-roll and effects and all that you, it, it can be done um, so I would say it can get you through that intermediate stage, but once you're a pro or you are a, a pro, um, when you're adding more effects and more layering, color correction, stabilization and all that, I would say that's where it starts to get more sluggish. So if I were in that area, I would suggest either the higher end or a stronger and more powerful computer. So that was my experience editing on this laptop. I have the links down below for you to check out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.